it is another year. Apple has dropped some new iPhones, like always, and man, it's starting to seem even more and more as though they just do not care about their customers at all. Don't get me wrong, it's always been evident, but at this point in the game for Apple, bruh, it's, it's, getting, it's looking bad. So, the iPhone 16, the 16 Plus, the 16 Pro, and the 16 Pro Max have all just came out. It's the same continuation of whatever they've been doing for like the last four or five years at least right i think the last time they had a cooler iphone that wasn't like you know in the same category of naming was the iphone 10r and the like the 10s and the 10s max or whatever but ever since like the 11 i think they've just been going with this naming scheme of just having like the standard you know numbered iphone with like the plus size and then the pro and then the pro max and then this is really hurting Apple in in the sense that, you know, we've had this for so long, the same standard of dropping phones to the point where it's so predictable and it's so boring because we always know that innovation doesn't come from Apple anymore. What they now do is they just come last to the party whenever there is a new feature. In I iPhones, it's always something that's been on other phones for like the last five, six years. As a person that's been owning iPhones for at least like the last five years, I had like a 10R in 2019 and then i had an iphone 13 from like 2021 end of 2021 and then now i'm on a iphone uh, 14 so i usually upgrade around every two to three years and man it is very underwhelming because as a person that's like you know what i actually want a reason to upgrade like apple give me more reasons to upgrade but like now it's to the point where it really just feels like there is absolutely no innovation from them like me going from my iphone 13 to the 14 just felt like nothing had really changed at all i think the only changes i had noticed was the camera got a little bit better but besides that the battery felt the same the the apps you know the screen was still 60 hertz and even on the 16 i don't even think it's 120 hertz on the 16 like the base 16 right so it's to the point where you don't really notice any new new things coming from apple and it's really disappointing because i still root for apple bruh i still think they're a great company i still buy some of their products like i got airpods an iphone i bought a macbook like a 2020 macbook with the m1 and i was like bro these are honestly great products but i think them making their products pretty great is at their own detriment at this point because now they've almost got to this point where iPhone specifically, that whole industry has matured so much, right? It's to the point where innovation across the board is kind of on a decline or at least it's stagnated. I think the only innovation I've seen from major smartphone companies is just the folding phones. But bro, those aren't going to be like normalized for a really long time unless they get like the thickness of those phones down. I don't think those phones will ever, you know, be something you will see normal people regularly have, right? Like you'll only see the enthusiasts, connoisseurs, and the people with hella cash because for the most part, they're still too expensive. So most people's alternative is either they get a regular smartphone, having too much of an old phone can't be possible anymore because the batteries would have too many issues or the phone would slow down. We, we know this happens, right? All phones slow down after some time. So we're at this point where having an old phone isn't too viable because it won't be able to keep up with some of the modern apps and then also there's the hardware limitations with the speed of the phone the battery life all that so we're now on this bubble where it's almost like you have to upgrade at least every three years minimum at this point in my opinion or you uh, are completely you know locked out in terms of using your old devices apple I think this needs to up their innovation game because their whole naming scheme and the way they're going about these new iPhones, in my opinion, they shouldn't even have like a full iPhone name upgrade. Like you shouldn't just go from a 15 to a 16. I think because the changes are so minuscule, bro. Minuscule. <laughs> Anyways, the 15 to the 16, like the base 15 to the base 16 almost just looks like the same phone, in my opinion. Besides like the camera bump changing, which then again, it's the same design as the iPhone 10, so I don't know what they're exactly like saying it's super innovative, right? But anyways, the 15 to the 16, besides the camera bump, visually, of course, is pretty much the same. They added like one button on the side, cool for camera controls. But these are like very little details that they're adding and changing. It's to the point where 
they should just bring back the s scheming scheme right s scheming s naming scheme where it used to be like okay you would go from the iphone 6 to the iphone 6s or the iphone 5 to the iphone 5s or the iphone 4 to the iphone 4s because even apple knew back then was okay we can't just drop phones and then expect people to think that the next year's phone will be a monumental upgrade because even they knew they couldn't do that so what they decided to do then was we'll drop the iphone 4 and then we'll add some more improvements to the 4 and call it and drop it next year and call it the iphone 4s just meaning it's the smarter version of the previous phone meaning they had a couple better features a couple better processing you know the units units a better processor and just overall subtle adjustments and improvements to the hardware and it didn't warrant a full new upgrade but it meant it warranted a uh it warranted a new version but it didn't warrant a whole new upgrade like the iphone 4 to the iphone 5 or the iphone 5 to the iphone 6 these are bigger upgrades but having an iphone 5 to the iphone 5s made more sense but now we're at this point where apple just decides you know what for marketing purposes for profits we're going to be going from the iphone 15 to iphone 16 no more s's no more none of that just straight iphone 15 to the iphone 16 and you know what bro fair play to apple they're gonna keep banking on us they're gonna keep making money on us and it is what it is <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoy this little rambling video it's it's just a little rant you know what i'm saying i'm trying to do new things on this channel if you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i know in my last video as well you guys showed a bit of support on there so i want to just say thank you to everyone and i want to continue on the uploads just new things different things i just want to give you all as much as i can anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed that like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video take care